Welcome to another part of the core trustee requirements video series. In this series, we talk you through the new core trustee requirements for the period of 2023 to 2025. You will learn about the details of each requirement, the evidence expected from applicants, extended guidance, and the changes compared to the previous version of the requirements. This video covers requirement number eight. My name is Raina Jenkins. I am the Data Stewardship Manager at Ocean Networks Canada and, been, and have been serving on the Core Trust Seal Board for the last few years. Requirement number eight covers deposit and appraisal. The repository accepts data and metadata based on defined criteria to ensure relevance and understandability for users. This means that the appraisal function during deposit is critical to evaluate whether digital objects meet all criteria for selection and to ensure appropriate management for their preservation. Appraisal ensures that deposited digital objects are relevant and are or can become understandable to the designated community. This requirement only covers the selection criteria applied at the point of deposit. Further steps around data quality would be addressed by the repository during the curation process and can be explained in requirement 11. When crafting your response and, and showing what evidence that you have on the deposit and appraisal, we are looking for things along the lines of the following. Any documented deposit process that includes steps to ensure that data and metadata are sufficient for long-term preservation, that there is a collection development policy or procedures to guide that selection of digital objects, there are criteria for prioritization and any different curation levels or preservation levels defined during appraisal, the approach to digital objects that do not fall within the mission collection profile, um, what steps do you take in those cases? That there are procedures to determine that the metadata required to interpret and use the digital objects are provided. Any automated assessment of metadata adherence to relevant schemas could be explained here. The repository approach, whether if in the case of metadata provided being insufficient for long-term preservation, perhaps there's um, there's interaction between a curator and the depositor to fill those gaps or other kinds of approaches. Is there a list of preferred formats for acceptance? Are there checks in place to ensure that depositors adhere to those preferred formats? And what is the approach towards digital objects that are deposited in non-preferred formats? And it's also important to clarify the transfer of custody and responsibility during that handover from the depositor to the repository. So what are some examples of what we might see in the response statement? Well, um, on the not so good side would be that researchers can totally self-assess whether the repository meets their needs and then just upload their files to receive a DOI with no checks and balances on that. Better, much better would be for the assigned curator to evaluate the, submit, the data set submission using some sort of criteria checklist uh, with a link to that checklist to ensure the data set is in scope and contains the essential elements. Another option is to say that all required metadata from the, repositor, from the depositor are automatically verified upon submission. Any errors or omissions are flagged so they can be addressed. Another idea to include is something along the lines of in the event that the data set is in scope, but the curatorial process do not yet exist, um, but that I mean they might fit the domain or um, something that is deemed relevant for that repository to hold, um, but it, maybe it's a new um, type of data that is more experimental and um, novel. Then there might be a committee that evaluates the priority of that data set according to an established rubric. New process can then be defined for high priority data sets as resources permit. So what has changed from 2020 to 2022 requirements and the 2023 to 2025 requirements? Before we used to just call this requirement number eight as appraisal. Now we've updated to deposit and appraisal to make that a little bit more, more clear at the point at the, which this is occurring. Um, and, and really that this change reflects the focus on the appraisal and assessment of data at the point that they are offered to the repository. 
There might be reappraisal of digital objects over time, and that would be reflected in the preservation plan, which is requirement number nine. This concludes the instruction on requirement eight of the new core trust seal requirements. Similar instruction videos can be found on all the other requirements on the core trust seal YouTube channel. You can find the full set of new requirements for the period of 2023 to 2025 on the core trust seal website. Thank you.